What's up, everyone? You know what time it is. It's Mighty Fan time. And uh got a jersey pickup for you guys. And, uh, man, something's different. So, this doesn't look familiar. Oh, that's right. I got another pickup for you guys. I got a new house. <laughs> so, now let's take a look at Mighty Fan's new crib. And then we'll get into the jersey pickup. It is Halloween 2016, my favorite holiday. Happy Halloween, everyone. I had to put this stuff up so quick because I just moved in this weekend. And I did a little decorating. It's not as much as I normally do, but you know what? For a quick little, you know, Halloween decor, I don't think I did too bad. So let's get right into the house. I'll show you the house, Mighty Fan Crib style, and then I'll get into the New Jersey pickup. Let's do this. All right. Hope you guys saw me. I couldn't really see because the screen's on the other side. But now we're looking at what is the living room. This is the living room area of the house. Now you would walk in through the front door. Come in this area, and then there's the living room. So you see I got my green chairs. <laughs> and I got uh, some other furniture, some stuff I still have to fill. You know, I'm still moving in, so bear with me here. Um, you know, he kind of came with the house. I don't know what the story behind him is, but uh, I think it was like a Dallas fan or something like that. I don't know. Hey, I'm still, I'm still miffed that the Eagles lost last night. But anyhow... <laughs> So, <laughs> Ron and Seth, that could be you. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look. You know it's Mighty Fan's house, so you know what's going to be in Mighty Fan's house, right? You're going to have Mighty. So there he is prominently displayed. He's going to be all over the place, right? So there's going to be Mighty. Of course, it's Halloween, so you're going to have some Halloween decor. You're going to have my wonderful artwork there from high school. Look at that. I know, I have skills, don't I? Yeah, haven't picked up a brush since. But anyhow... Uh, you're going to have some more stuff, the saw puppet. I want to play a game. And uh, Fervus, of course, the big wolf right there, my character. And uh, that was actually from my boss, so wolf crossing. <laughs> so you would basically come into the living area. There's a stairway to go upstairs. This is a Cape Cod-style house. The upstairs is not very big. It's just a few rooms. I'll show you that soon. But anyhow, got a little coat rack right there. And we got the living room. Just moved in this weekend. Oh my God, the move was actually it, it was nice. It wasn't too bad. It was uh, you know it was easier than I thought it would be. Um, I'm glad it's done. <laughs> it was very nerve wracking, but we got you know the stuff in here that had to come in. The house did come with that very nice fridge, and uh, let me show you the, the kitchen area. Really love this kitchen. Um, already got a lot of compliments on it people have been in here so you got the nice countertops there I had to get a toaster oven but the microwave came with the house I uh, got some nice cabinet space and of course you know gotta be ready <laughs> okay so I don't have great formal glassware but you know what it, it, it's still early nice stove there got, got a nice sink the faucet actually comes off too so you can if you so wish, you can take it off and spray someone or something. I don't know. But uh, anyhow, just got you know the dishwasher there. Really love this fridge. My dad has something similar. It's It's got the two, you know. Yeah, I know it's not very full. I still have to do some some more grocery shopping. But, uh, you know, we got the essentials. So, <laughs> so there's the inside double door. And on the bottom, you got the freezer area which still has to be contained with more food I still have yet to do the food shopping in earnest but uh so yeah that's the dining room kitchen got a little hallway here is the bathroom and for the ladies you know got a jacuzzi so you know if anyone wants to you know but uh <laughs> ah the life of a single man but uh yes this is the bathroom that's right you're just run of the mill bathroom with a jacuzzi um, we're going to go through, and again, this is the living area. This is basically as you would be walking out. Um, got my room. This is where the magic doesn't happen. Um, so <laughs> I still have to really, you know, decorate it and get everything the way I want it. But the thing I love about it is, look at this. I've got two nice closets here. Look at that. Ugh, Jersey space. Gotta love it. Here's another one. Look at this. You can imagine that's going to get full at some point, you know. 
No, not all jerseys are going to go in there, people, okay? Just going to be some, but the rest is, you know, going to be in another area. I'll show you that later. It's my uh, diploma from uh, Cabrini College. I is a college graduate. So, uh, <laughs> so anyhow, we're going to go through. Now, what I want to do first, I'm going to take you guys upstairs, and then we're going to go downstairs. Okay, that's right, I know. You're getting dizzy now. I hope this isn't very Blair Witch-like, you know, with the shaky camera. But we're going upstairs. Like I said, it's a Cape Cod-style house, so the upstairs is not as big. But that's okay, because it has enough space. You see, this is going to be nice little storage space. Got some shelves there I have to put up. My boss and the co-worker, we're going to get that done this coming Wednesday. The poles are too long, so we're going to have to get some shorter ones. And so different, like, decor and whatnot is going to be put on the shelves. You know, Halloween, Christmas, all that good stuff. But I also, and believe me, it's like taking a, a, a toothpick to an iceberg, but I have moved a few of the collection over, and we got the baseball set up in here. We got all Mitchell and Ness uh, baseball. I'm going to get another rack. The other rack I'm going to get is going to have the authentics and vintage for baseball and football. I don't have too many of them, but that's where they're going to go. I'll probably have it in here somewhere. Uh, <laughs> still figuring it out, but... It's got another closet here. This is probably where my hockey jerseys are going to go, I would imagine. This is like a Jersey Heads house, okay? So some people are like, well, why don't you just put a Christmas tree in here? Uh, well, you know, I'm a Jersey Head, so, you know, it's priorities. But anyhow, uh, this is going to be the master Jersey room, <laughs> okay? So this is like the new locker room, and it still has to be set up. I still have to move all the collection over. My God, that's a slow process, but it will get there. This rack, I'm assuming, is going to be for football. I just have to completely figure that out. It's either going to be football or basketball, and the rest will be whatever sport I don't put on, the rack, on that rack, football or basketball. I just have to decide it. Hats, got some space there. Going to have some more uh, area here, some, you know, um, uh, bureau there, dresser. Going to put some shirts in there, a lot, you know, some of the Mitchell and Ness stuff and whatnot. I'm um, going to go in there, sports shirts and stuff like that. Um, got some history of Seahawks right there, helmets. Yeah, I don't know. I just, uh... <laughs> it's like the, all the non-Philadelphia, you know, paraphernalia I have is going to probably go in here. Um, and I'm a Russell Wilson fan too, so I have to have a little love for the Seahawks there. But anyhow, um, you, you guys didn't know this. I played for the Bulls, see, so they gave me my, uh, my own little locker as a memento for my playing days which were very short-lived. I, I suited up for, like, a game, and I missed a uh, layup, and they kicked me off the team. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Actually, speaking of the Bulls, this closet is very important because this closet is going to be the Bulls closet. This closet is where my Bulls warm-ups are going to go. I'm going to have all my Jordan jerseys over there, Bulls hats. That's right, the Bulls closet for Mighty Fan. Come on. Doubles. So anyhow, <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put in there. Maybe I put like a, a, a little warm-up suit or something like that. I don't know. Again, you know, it's, it's the glory days. I, you know, I have to remember them. But uh, <laughs> um, So let's go here. Bathroom. Yes, we all know what a bathroom looks like. There it is. Nice little uh, uh, pink decor. <laughs> <laughs> the previous tenants of this house were, were women, so they uh, <laughs> they liked pink. But there's nothing wrong with pink, you know. It's uh, I, I'm I'm firm I'm I'm firm into my you know masculinity, so I'm not afraid. And it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so big shout outs to all the survivors out there. So anyhow, this is the bathroom. You see, I got my nice little you know football uh, holder right there for my toothbrush. <laughs> Just picked it up yesterday. Dollar store, you can find all sorts of stuff there. I just realized, but anyhow, um, let's uh, move on. Make sure I turn off the lights because I don't want an overly huge electric bill. And by the way, Verizon, they're not showing up until today. I moved in on uh, on uh, well, technically Friday, but Saturday's when really all this stuff got in here. So, Verizon is showing up today, Monday, uh, for the service. Nothing against Verizon, but, you know, <laughs> would have been nice. 
<laughs> I'm just saying. So we're going to go down to the basement. This is one of the things that I loved about this house. When I saw this, I just fell in love. Already we know the green wallpaper, green and white. I mean, the, the paint, rather, I should say. The green and white paint. Come on. This is my fan's house. I know they lost last night, damn it, but I'm still an Eagles fan. <laughs> As you can clearly see. <laughs> So this is one of the reasons I fell in love with this house. It's got a finished basement. It's about 75% finished. It's got the area in here for the uh, storage and the, uh, you know, the good stuff, the heater, the, you know, units and everything like that. Dishwasher. Uh, oh, dishwasher. What am I saying? Boy, it'd be interesting if the dishwasher was down here, huh? Yeah, wa uh, laundry, machines, washer, dryer. You know, all that good stuff is down here. So this is the only part of the basement that isn't finished. But the rest of it is, and as you can see, it has that wonderful green paint. Green and white. Eagles colors. I, I walked in here, I said, oh, this is home. Yes, I know, it's hand-me-down furniture, but you know, for those of you who aren't moving or might have moved or something, you, you know, you save where you can. And at some point, I'll have newer furniture down here, but... uh <laughs> hey, I wanted to save a little, so I brought some from home. This is going to be the entertainment center. This is going to be where the games are watched, the Xbox is played, where the Eagles will win on the Xbox. You know, it might take a little while in real life, but we do win on the Xbox. So, you know, it's uh, you, you take what you can. But anyhow, this is uh, where everything's going to be uh, viewed, movies, sports, Whatever. Any of you that want to come down, feel free. Although, Dallas fans, you guys have to pay a fee. But um, other than that, <laughs> uh, we got the stereo system hooked up. Uh, I, it's an old school system, but the sound quality is still amazing on it. I love it. Listen to the radio on there. Uh, during game day, sometimes I'll, I'll turn off the volume on the TV and just listen to Merle and Mike. And, you know, do the Eagle games on there. Just great stuff. Uh little section here hooked up i'm not a huge autograph hound but i have some autographs for some philly and by the way everything down here in this area it's all going to be philadelphia i mean sports this is only a little tiny bit that you guys are seeing i'm not completely set up yet but you see all these boxes you know i mean i'm ready to go i just have to get it up i'm going to get some more fat heads i'm going to have this whole place Philadelphia Sports Central. We might not win a lot, but when we do, <laughs> I'll be ready. <laughs> um, and I know, I know, I'm sorry. I have to do this. I'm sorry. Because I get ragged on so much from that Seth Houston Sterling, you know, because I don't have a Lombardi trophy, okay? I'm still waiting on that. But, you know, I know he's a Rangers fan. And Seth, I don't know, but I... I see this and I think of you. Yeah, I know. Rangers are still waiting on theirs, but, you know, someday. But, uh, <laughs> I had to do, I'm sorry, guys. I just, <laughs> you know, you get on me for the Lombardi trophy, I'm going to get on you for the World Series trophy. That's how it is. That's how it is. But anyhow, uh, we move on. Uh, this is going to be all Philadelphia all the time. The other thing I love about this, see, I'm just, I'm, I'm glowing right. Oh, you guys don't even know. You guys don't know the potential that's in Mighty Fan's house. Look at this. How many of you have basements with closet space? Come on. <laughs> I saw this and I said, this is a Jersey Heads house. <laughs> so the plan for these closets, as you can imagine, is it's all going to be Philadelphia jackets, like sports jackets, and, and all my best Philadelphia jerseys. So Mitchell, Ness, Authentics. Just all the best of the best is going to go down here. We got one closet, but wait, there's more. Look at this. It's a double wide. <laughs> double door closet. Look at this. Mighty Fan knows how to pick them. Look at the space in this sucker. Come on, how many of you want one of these in your house? Come on, but you can't because it's mine. So in this closet going to be all the rest of the jerseys lined up and look at that we got hat space on the top Ooh. and we got a mirror look there's me filming you <laughs> so i am just complete i just fell in love with this house when i saw it 
It was the first house I saw out of seven that day. I knew this was me. I mean, you know, <laughs> like my boss came in here the other day helping me with the move and he looked around the house and he said, this is so you. <laughs> I just said, yes, it is, but it will be me even more once I get everything completely the way I want it. Uh, decorated and everything, you know. But, um, yeah, we're going to have a lot of Philadelphia paraphernalia down here. Going to have an Allen Iverson fat head. Going to have a Philly Fanatic fat head. Going to have a Citizens Bank or a Lincoln Financial Field fat head. And anything else I can't think of right now. Flyers fat head's going to go on there. A Villanova championship fat head. Yes. <laughs> Believe me, anyone who wonders what my rooting allegiances are with all the jerseys I have, you don't have to w wonder about that when you come down here. <laughs> So, we move on. We go back upstairs. I feel like Michael Myers right now. It's like, some, like a scene from the movie with the slow walk, you know? Turn off the light, conserve some energy. Okay. So now, I will show you guys a little bit of the outside. Like I said, it is Halloween, so I got just a few things out there. Oh. Look at that, I'm ready. So, I got the whip. You guys already know my fan drives in style. Uh, we got the, got the mailbox. I don't know, can packages get in there? Probably not, so they're probably going to have to leave them by the door. Always thinking, right? Always thinking. What else we got? We got a shed. We got a nice backyard. Air conditioned unit. Central air. Ooh. Got to look forward to that next summer. Nice shed. Nice backyard. Now you can see a little bit of the outside of the house. 2225 Avon Road. In Ardmore, PA. Pretty nice, huh? Nice backyard. Now I'll show you guys the front. Say hi to the whip. It's Wolf Beast. It's the name of my car, I know. I named the car. That's what my fan does, he names things. So we got some shrubbery on the front. I'm probably going to move that at some point, but we'll see. It's all still in the planning stages. You see the outside. Now, my house is like one of the few houses that has the door on the side instead of the front. But, you know, I'm a little different anyhow, so that doesn't really matter. You'll always know what Mighty Fan's house is on this street. <laughs> nice brick. Really like this yard, too. There's a lot of potential, too. You know, put some you know furniture out here, maybe table, chairs in the back, too. Nice light there. Though i got to change the bulb. That's something i got to do flagpole put my eagle flag out there or whatever you know flag I want to put out there Christmas whatever Halloween don't have a Halloween one yet but I'll take a look at the outside a little more Two windows so, I mean the house is already you know good to go for Verizon they just have to come and you know do their thing so they're coming today, a little later, so I'll have my TV and internet service. So I probably won't have this video posted until after I have the service, but at least I can film it now. Do something now, anyhow. All right, let me show you the jersey to pick up. Perfect for today. And then I'm going to go because I got more work to do, you know? Some of us have, some of us, some of us are busy. <laughs> Anyhow, the jersey pickup, here it is. I'm going to be wearing this tonight. Shout out to geekyjerseys.com. If you guys want to know where to find a jersey like this, these are all hockey jerseys. They do have some baseball, but it's mainly hockey jerseys, and they're pop culture related. So it's geekyjerseys.com is where you want to go to find it. This is a Haddonfield Slashers hockey jersey from Michael Myers. Of course, Halloween, my favorite all-time Halloween movie and Halloween franchise, or horror franchise, I should say. And Michael and I, we both came out the same year, 1978. That's right. <laughs> Don't mess with me. <laughs> you Dallas fans out there, keep it up. <laughs> Anyhow, 
the bed still has to, you know, I just got the bed the other night. I still have to put all the, you know, the, the sheets and all on there. I've been uh, spending nights at my old house because that's where the cable is. But uh, <laughs> that's where the internet and cable is. So, uh, but I'm going to be getting my uh, bed uh, uh, set for this queen bed here. Uh, queen size bed um, soon. So the bed isn't completely together yet, but it will be. But back to the jersey. Yeah, we got Mike on the front there. Michael Myers, Haddonfield Slashers. Love it. Orange and black. Flyers colors, too. So there's the shoulder patch. Trick or treat. It's on both sides. Both shoulders, I should say. Pretty cool. And it's got the number 78 on the sleeves. Of course, 78 the year both Michael and I came to be. <laughs> And the back, see there you got the jock tag, geeky jerseys, there you see the URL. I definitely would recommend, I mean this is an awesome jersey and the price really isn't that bad. Um, and just where else are you going to find this, right? So, excuse me one second, I'm going to try to lay this out so you guys can see it. I don't want to have that Blair Witch effect going too much with the camera, but I'm trying to Trying to get this out completely flat so you guys can get a good look at the uh, the jersey on the back. That's right, Meyer 78, geeky jerseys tag on the on the uh, on the back of the neck. There you go, Michael Myers. It's his day. So if you're in Haddonfield, Illinois, you might not want to go out tonight. But uh. <laughs> you know, I always wonder in that movie series. I love the series. Believe me, it's it's my favorite one. I'm not a huge fan of the newer Rob Zombie ones, but I hear uh, they're going to be re-upping uh, uh, the Halloween series, and uh, John Carpenter is going to be attached to it. So that's pretty cool. The original, uh, who was attached to the original, of course, that did the music for the original. That that uh, iconic music. Um, but I always wonder. You know, if you live in the Haddonfield area and it's Halloween. You, you might know it by this time not to go out. Just stay indoors with everything locked because Michael's probably going to be around somewhere. <laughs> but, you know, it's it's movies. What, what can you do? But anyhow, it's like Friday the 13th. Just go out on, on, on Saturday the 14th and you don't have to worry about Jason. It's like, you know, every day besides the 13th. <laughs> but anyhow, I digress. I love this jersey. This is probably one of my favorite... Uh, uh, non-sports, like, team jerseys I have. Um, I'm definitely going to be buying a few more jerseys from Geeky Jerseys over time. They got some really nice-looking ones. They got a nice Jason one. They got Jaws, all sorts of stuff. Check them out, yeah, geekyjerseys.com. I mean, if you're a fan of movies and nostalgia, I mean, it, 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 they've got a little bit of everything for you, so check them out. Michael Myers, Haddonfield Slashers. Gotta love that Halloween jersey right there. And yes, I do have some more Halloween stuff, so <laughs> I didn't put it all out. I didn't put it all out. I couldn't this year. Next year, though. <laughs> all right, everyone. Well, that's going to do it. We'll give one more look at the inside here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And you know, you know what time it is. So uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour here. I tried to do this crib style as best I can. But what did they always say at cribs, you know, that... You know, I, I'm not telling you guys you need to leave, but you, you, you got to get out. You know, you got you can't be here. But because uh, <laughs> the video is going to end. All right, everyone. Well, happy Halloween yet again. You know what? I should do this because it is Halloween. I got to offer you guys a little something. So, you know, take your pick, you know, whatever you guys want. All right, every, everyone. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next uh, video. And yeah, from my new house, this is Mighty Fan, signing off for now.